What's up Chaos Shinobi here if you enjoy the story like and subscribe so I can make more awesome videos for you guys Chapter 1 October 10th, the day that would leave a lasting impression among the people of the Hidden Leaf October 10th, the day the Ninetales Fox would raise hell among Kane Hundreds of lives would be lost that night, but among those losses would be the rise of two new lives Though in order to understand this tale you must first understand what happened on October 10th the day the Kiwabi attacked. In cave not too far from the village was a group of shinobi. Outside of the cage stood a small group of A and B, guarding the people inside. Inside the cave was a red-headed woman, who was known as Kashina Namakaze, and to a selected few the second Jinchuriki of the nine-tailed fox. Kashina was in complete agony, as she was close to giving birth. To her side stood the Yandame Hukage keeping the nine tails in check. The Yandame Hukage, aka Minato Namakaze, looked at his wife with distress. The woman delivering the babies, by Wako Sarutobi, merely shook her head at Minato's antics. Men thought the wife of the third Hukage as she concentrated at the task at hand. Why? The crying of the first baby rang through the room. A small red-headed boy was in the arms of Bai Wako. Bai Wako passed the boy to the her assistant and went right back to work. Then a few moments later the sound of the second baby rang through the room. Why? Minato looked at the children with renewed happiness, and he quickly looked back down to his wife. Minato could see the large smile on his wife's pained face then in the blink of an eye everything changed. Line. The village hidden in the leaf was near complete destruction. An enormous hole was found in the village's outer walls. The place where the third Hukage had forced the Kiwabi out. The village itself was practically in shambles, while portions of it were completely the village walls a large portion of the forest was completely gone. In this clearing stood several shinobi, and among those shinobi stood the third Hukage. His eyes wide, as he just witnessed the Kiwabi disappear, where did it go? An enormous light that illuminated the night, could be seen in the distance. Line Snake Boram Rabbit Dog Rat Bird Horse Snake Minato finished the last seal and clap his hands together clap. A giant apparition appeared behind Minato. The apparition wore a long white cloak, and he had long white. Suddenly Minato's soul appeared at the hands of the apparition. Minato's eye twitched as he muttered the jutsu's name, Shiki Fujin. Minato looked to his left, and looked at his severely injured wife. Kashina was kneeled to a ceiling shrine, where their newborn twins lay. Minato narrowed his eyes, as they were quickly filled with determination. Turning forward he glared at the nine tails who was being held down by Kashina's chakra chains. Minato formed a hand seal, and the death god struck his hand through Minato's back. The death god's hand entered Minato, and used his body as a medium. Then suddenly the same hand exploded from Minato's stomach, and latched onto the nine tails. Minato gritted his teeth, I'll see the yin half into Mito, and then I'll seal the other half into me. No I must seal it into Naruto. Minato looked at his two children, they must be the two to stop Madara. The Jinchurikus of the Nine-Tailed Fox Minato looked forward, and he directed the Death God's hand to rip away the yin half of the Nine Tails. In a quick motion the hand of the Death God did exactly that. Minato watched as the Nine Tails shrunk in size, and he quickly moved to seal away the yin. Why? cried Mito as the yin was sealed into her. Minato wasted no time, and moved to seal away the second half. He grabbed onto the remaining half of the Nine Tails and proceeded to seal it into Naruto. Then all at once Minato's body froze, and he watched as the hand kept moving. What are you doing? shouted Minato as he managed to tilt his head towards the Shinigami. Kashina had heard Minato's shout, and turned to face him. Kashina's eyes widened in shock as she felt the excruciating pain of having the nine tails resealed into her. G-A-H-H. -H. A hole was ripped in the clothes of Kashina, and in that hole her stomach was revealed to the whole world. A eight sign seal appeared on her stomach and Kashina's eyes rolled into the back of her head. Minato watched in torment as his wife fell into a state of unconscious. Minato felt himself regain control of his body, and he fell to his knees. Minato looked behind him, and stared at the Shinigami in disbelief. What's the meaning of this? You are a fortunate mortal. Today I've decided to help you scum known as humans, spoke the Death God. Minato's eyes widened in shock, as he hadn't expected a response. W-O-Y? The Death God gave him a devilish grin. The time has drawn near, the child to complete the prophecy is near. Though in order for that agenda to occur, things need to occur. I usually don't mess around with mortal affairs, but I'll make this exception. Minato asked, prophecy? Are you talking about the child of prophecy? The death god stood still, and Minato watched as his soul was returned into his body, 
In order for the prophecy to occur you must live. But do not think you have cheated death, mortal. Your soul will eventually be mine, but do remember my words. Minato's eyes closed, and his hearing suddenly became dull. The release of the Jutsu had quickly sent him into unconsciousness, disabling him from hearing the Death God's last words. You will become your son's greatest pain. The Death God looked over to the boy, and wasn't surprised to meet the boy's eyes, even though he's so young. He's unconsciously able to feel me. Could he finally be the one? The death god silently disappeared from the area, his eyes never leaving the small child. And now our story begins. Time skip eight years. A young red-haired boy could be seen picking out the window. His gaze remained frozen on a pair of people in his backyard. The boy put himself into a better position, and thus revealing more of his body to the outside world. The boy stood quite tall for his age at a height of 3'11". He had short spiky red hair, and with the whisker marks on his cheek, it gave the boy a ferocious look. But his bright blue eyes was the real abnormally to his looks. Compared to the rest of his features, his eyes were the things that stood out the most for the boy. The boy stared intently at the group trying to memorize every little detail he could. Out in his backyard stood the young dame Huckage, and a young blonde-haired girl. The redhead watched as the child attempted to run up the tree, but quickly fell off. A frown was placed on the boy's face. As he watched the man catch her and they both laughed, Naruto shook his head, and turned away from his window. He walked quickly to his dresser, and opened up a drawer. He pulled out a kunai, and slammed the drawer shut. Unintentionally he caused the pictures on top of his dresser to fall over. The boy sighed as he reached out to pick the things out. The first thing he picked up was a wooden block with a name on it, Naruto Namakaze. The boy gave his name a quick glance, and placed it onto his dresser. He picked up a picture and stared at it. It was a picture of him with a beautiful blonde woman. The title under it read, Grand Watsonade. Naruto moved over, and picked up two more. One picture he was much younger, and was sitting on an old man's lap with the blonde girl. Old man Hukage. Naruto looked at the third picture. A masked shinobi with silver head stood by Naruto. His hand was messing up Naruto's hair, but Naruto was still smiling into the picture. Kakashi. Naruto picked up the last picture. It was a picture with him and the blonde girl. Behind them stood Minato and Kashina. Family pie. Naruto didn't read the rest, as he slammed the picture face down onto the drawer. Naruto quietly opened his door, and moved silently through the hall. As he reached the end of it, he stopped to peek around the corner. Naruto glanced into the kitchen to see his mother preparing a meal. Naruto looked down to his kanai. If I tell her what I'm doing, she won't let me go. Naruto frowned as he thought back to why all this was happening. Flashback no JUTSU, one year ago. It was early morning in Kaneya, and Naruto sat fully awake at the breakfast table. To his side sat Mito who was sleeping on the table, and Minato was sitting across them. Plates and chopsticks were set for each of them. Naruto took a deep breath as he waited for his mom to enter the room. Today is the day. I asked mom and dad to help train me too. They've been training Mito for a month and I think it's time for me too. Naruto smiled as he thought about the things he could be learning. He was about to let out a childish giggle, when he saw his mom enter the kitchen. He quickly eyed his father, who was busy reading and straightened himself up, trying to look as mature as possible. Um, dad, mom? In an innocent voice, Minato and Kashina both looked up and looked at each other. One thought ran through their heads. He wants something. Kashina gave Naruto a questioning look. What is it? Naruto. Naruto sweated a bit under his mother's look. She already knows I want something. Minato brushed Kashina off. Kashina lessened that look. You're going to scare him off. Kashina glared at Minato. I'm not scaring him off. Mom. Dad. Can I talk? Interrupted Naruto. Kashina and Minato looked at Naruto. Minato smiled. What is it Naruto? Well, I was wondering. Naruto twirled his fingers a bit. If you could start teaching me the ninja arts like Mito. Mito was suddenly wide awake and listened to Naruto's conversation. Kashina and Minato both rose an eyebrow. Minato gave Naruto a patient look. Naruto, we've already told you why I started training Mito early. Naruto nodded. It's because she's the Nine Tails Jinchuriki, and she needs extra help controlling her chakra. Naruto looked up with determination. I know that, but I promise I won't be a burden. You just have to teach me once, and I swear I'll manage to figure things out on my own. You won't even have to waste that much time with me. I promise. Minato sighed. That's not how it works Naruto. When teaching young children like you to use chakra, you need a lot of attention. Due to my Hukage duties I don't have much time to teach you. In fact it's usually your mother who teaches Mito, 
and she needs to have all her focus on Mito. Naruto eyes were slowly beginning to fill up with disappointment. B but dad. No, but dads. Replied Kashina. You heard your father. Kashina walked over to Naruto and placed her hands on his shoulder. Once you enter the academy, you'll learn how to wield your chakra there. Naruto eyes suddenly lit up with an idea. Then why don't you let me join now? They could probably teach me how to use my chakra. Kashina sighed, cause you don't have to enter until you're nine. Since all they teach you at your age is the basics of reading, writing, and history. We teach you that already. Naruto finally frowned, then why can't I just enter now? I already know all that, I'm sure I could just skip ahead. Kashina looked over to Minato, and Minato frowned. They knew that already. But Kashina and Minato didn't want their children to grow up so fast. They themselves had seen the horrors of war at their children's age. Kashina's temper finally got the best of her. I said no, and that's final. Naruto shut his eyes in anger, but he did nothing. Kashina and Minato looked at each other and shared a sigh. Bito merely gazed at her brother not uttering a word. Flashback no jutsu release. One year ago, Naruto took a deep breath and ran to the door. Mom. I'm going to the park. Kashina looked behind her. What? Though before she knew what was happening, Naruto was already out the door. Kashina sighed. He better not be late for dinner. Line. Naruto stood in a clearing near the park. The spot was secluded, so no one else could see what he was doing. Naruto stared at the tall thick tree he had picked. From what I was seeing, Bito was using her chakra to walk up the tree. Naruto took a deep breath. If I'm correct. I must direct the flow of chakra to my feet in order to walk up the tree. Naruto formed a hand seal and closed his eyes to concentrate. Gather the chakra to my feet. Naruto opened his eyes and pulled out the kunai he grabbed earlier. Then he swiftly ran up to the tree and started running up the tree. Naruto took three steps and he grinned. I'm doing it. Snap. Only three feet off the ground. Naruto heard the breaking of bark. Naruto quickly looked down to his feet. Then he suddenly realized he was upside down and falling to the ground. Thump. Naruto head slammed into the ground, and Naruto fell to his side. He quickly rubbed his head. I might need to use less chakra. Naruto took a few steps back, and repeated the earlier process. Then he looked at the tree, and once again ran towards it. Line. A black-haired teen sat in the branches of a high tree. His hair was wild and spiky, and wore a high-colored black shirt. His eyes were closed, and he was sleeping silently in the tree. His eyes suddenly cracked open, revealing his black onyx eyes. The teen yawned, and took a good look around. He looked up to the sky, it'll be sunset soon. The teen frowned, did I really waste the whole day sleeping? Oh well, I needed it. Shisui looked around once more, and he suddenly rose an eyebrow. He looked down at the red-haired boy, he's still at it. That boy has been here since a little past noon. Shisui looked at the tree he was staring at. Shisui shook his head, by looking at the marks. He hasn't managed to get past seven feet. Shisui watched as Naruto formed a hand seal and begun gathering chakra to his feet. Though I'll give him credit, he has determination. Shisui then watched as he raced up the tree, and then Shisui's eyes widened. He watched as he flew past the seven feet mark and smoothly ran up halfway the tree, where several markings gone unnoticed by Shisui where Naruto ran a few more steps before he marked his spot and jumped off. Naruto landed on the ground smoothly, but out of nowhere he stumbled backwards and fell to his knees. Naruto suddenly let out a big grin, as he attempted to catch his breath. Shisui couldn't help but grin as well. What an impressive brat, that's better than most genin do in a week. Shisui then scratched his chin, that red hair the why does it seem so familiar? Shisui was broken from his thoughts, when Naruto suddenly raced up the tree once more. Naruto ran swiftly up the tree and managed to get a few steps past his mark. Naruto grabbed his kunai, and attempted to mark his spot. The kunai cut deeply into the tree, but it was suddenly caught in it. Naruto eyes widened in shock, and he lost total balance of his body. With no control of his body he plummeted to the ground. As Naruto fell to the ground Shisui's eyes widened realizing who exactly Naruto was, the Yandame's son. Naruto shut his eyes expecting the worst, but it never came. Naruto slowly reopened them, and was surprised to be in Shisui's arms. For a moment Naruto felt a sense of deja vu. Just like Dad and Mito he saved me from hitting the floor. Hey, kiddo I'm Shisui. Quite the close shave back there, huh? Spoke Shisui. Naruto was suddenly brought back to reality, and the situation dawned upon him. Naruto remained frozen for a second, causing Shisui to panic, 
Are you all right? A G H H shouted Shisui as Naruto's fist slammed into his face. Shisui let go of Naruto, and Naruto jumped away. Shisui clenched his nose and glared at Naruto. What was that for? Naruto glared at Shisui. How do I know you're not an enemy ninja? You don't have a forehead protector nor are you wearing any Kanaha attire. Shisui shit dropped. Me an enemy shinobi? Don't you see the Uchiha crest on my back? Out of nowhere the kunai from earlier landed in between of Naruto and Shisui. Naruto eyed the kunai. Why don't you show me? Shisui sighed. Fine. Shisui turned around revealing his back. See. Shisui eyes widen. As he turned around to see Naruto with a kunai in his hand. Then with the flick of his wrist it was flying at impressive speeds. With deadly accuracy. Shisui was impressed. Even his throwing is quite refined. Then Shisui caught the blade with his bare hands. Let me tell you a few things kid. Naruto's eyes widen. As he watched Shisui catch his kunai with minimal effort. First. If I was actually an enemy shinobi I would have killed you by now. Shisui walked closer to Naruto. Second. You shouldn't attack your enemy with dull blades. That's why it got stuck in the tree earlier. Shisui suddenly activated his Sharingan. Finally, I'm a shinobi of the Hidden Leaf Village. Just because I don't have my stuff doesn't mean I'm not a shinobi of this village. Shisui tossed a blade to Naruto, and Naruto caught it. Naruto then rubbed the back of his head. I'm sorry. Shisui, it's just I'm really tired, and a bit off edge. It's just no one ever comes out here. So I was surprised to see anyone here. Shisui nodded. I see. So what are you doing out here? I'm sure your father would allow you to practices in any of the training grounds. In fact where is he? This tree climb training is usually hard to do without a teacher. And you've been doing it all day. Shisui watched as Naruto rubbed the back of his head again. About that. Shisui sighed. And rubbed the back of his head. Why do I feel like I'm walking into a heap of trouble? Alright. Tell me the whole story. Line. Naruto and Shisui sat at the base of Naruto's training tree. Naruto took a deep breath. And that's it. I'm out here because my parents refused to train me. So I've decided to train myself. Shisui looked over at Naruto. I don't know whether to be impressed or not. Naruto rose an eyebrow. What do you mean? Shisui rested his head across the tree. Well, from one's view it looks like you're just being a little whiny brat that doesn't want to wait another year to start playing ninja. Naruto eyes widen in anger, and he clenched his fists. It's not that. Shisui cut him off, or I've stumbled upon some type of prodigy. All the anger in Naruto's eyes were replaced with shock. I mean it's completely unheard of some not even academy student to nearly master this exercise in a day. Not to mention you did it by merely seeing someone else do it a few times. Praised Shisui. That's just crazy. Naruto remained silent at the praise, and Shisui suddenly smiled. Look here kid, I've been looking for a student for a while, to rival my best friend who's teaching his little brother. So, how about it? You wouldn't mind it if I taught you? Shisui closed his eyes expecting some type of loud response, but he opened his eyes at the sound of sobbing. Shisui suddenly panicked. What are you doing? Why are you crying? Naruto wiped away a tear. I'm sorry. It's just I've never been praised so highly by anyone, and end. I would gladly be your student Shisui Sensei. Shisui suddenly understood the situation, and gave Naruto a smile. I guess I understand the kid. I guess the neglection in this training has made him feel inferior to his sister. Naruto suddenly hugged Shisui, and Shisui awkwardly hugged him back. But that doesn't mean I'm going to make him feel better. Hey kid stop hugging me. I'm not some teddy bear. Shouted Shisui. Snore. Shisui deadpanned. He fell asleep. Shisui sighed. He has been training all day I guess it's finally caught up to him. Shisui grabbed Naruto and tossed him over his back. I guess I have to take him home now. If I leave him here, the Yandame won't be too happy. With Naruto on his back, Shisui jumped to the trees and raced to Naruto's house. Completely unaware of the grin that sneaked onto Naruto's face. Naruto was laying in his bed enjoying the peaceful sleep he was having. Until he heard his mother yell. Naruto get up. Naruto slowly rising up noticed that it was only 7 a.m. Naruto was thinking to himself. What do they want? They usually don't wake me up unless it's my birthday. Looking at the calendar he noticed it was October 10th. He quickly dashed out of his room now full aware it was his 9th birthday. Knowing that today was his birthday, but more importantly knowing he would be able to sign up for the academy. As he raced to the kitchen he was expecting hugs and happy birthdays from his parents. Instead when he arrived to the kitchen, he saw that the rest of his family were already at the kitchen table. They were all impatiently waiting for him, 
while a plate of eggs and bacon was out for each of them sorry couldn't think of any Asian breakfast foods. Come on Naruto you're gonna cost us from eating your sister's birthday breakfast, said Kashina. Beto and Naruto both blinked in surprise because they didn't hear your or any mention of him. What do you mean by your sister's? Isn't it my too? I mean it's my birthday too, declared a now slightly irritated Naruto. Kashina and Minato both almost jumped out of their chairs, completely now aware that they had forgot about Naruto. Oh my god what a terrible parent am I? I totally forgot about my other son's birthday and it's on the same day of Mito. Wait, what am I thinking Mito's? OMG I'm a terrible do I say? Thought both a very nervous Kashina and Minato. Lucky Minato was in huckage for nothing. Well, Naruto what she means is that breakfast was dedicated to Mito here. While lunch will be dedicated to you. So you get to pick anything you want for lunch. Naruto looked at him and his mother, already completely figured them out. Though instead of blowing up like he usually did, thanks to Shisui's teaching of meditating, he just sighed and sat down, deciding to just play along to not completely ruin the day. Oh okay I guess that makes sense, said Naruto as he sat down and began to eat. Bito also deciding to eat, totally buying the lie their parents had said. While both Kashina and Minato looked at each other with a ton of guilt, both now determined to make sure to make it up to him. After breakfast, after breakfast Minato had quickly left to finish his huckage business so he could come home early for today's birthday party, leaving Kashina, Naruto and Mito alone at the table. So Naruto what are you planning to do until your birthday party this afternoon? Asked the determined Kashina, wanting to make it up to him. Well I was hoping to go see Shisui Sensei replied Naruto. Why would you want to train on your birthday? I mean don't you want to go play with your friends? Asked a puzzled Kashina. A now very embarrassed Naruto replied. Well, you see, it's just that mumbling the rest as he looked over at Mito. What did you say? Said Kashina as the look at Mito didn't go unnoticed. It's that I really don't have any other friends besides Shusui. Said a now ashamed Naruto as he thought why this had happened. Flashback no jutsu. It has been the year during their 8th birthday. It had been the day the Naruto decided to pull prank on Mito dyeing her hair red. Naruto yelled and enraged Mito as her hair was red making her look just like her mom. I'm gonna kill you. Hiya look it's mini MOM. Hey hiya. Laughed Naruto as he ran out of his house to the safety of Grand Matsunade. This is pointless. He is so much faster than me. As well that Tsunade will definitely protect him from my wrath. U-G-H-H-H. -H -H. I'll get you back one way or another Naruto. Thought Mito as she walked back to her room. Later at the birthday party. All the clan heads kids had been invited as well a few civilian friends of Mito and Naruto. The party had been going well. Parents were inside enjoying a few drinks, while the kids were outside waiting until cake and to open presents. That's when Mito decided to get her revenge. I'm pretty sure that everyone here would probably do anything I, I should, thought Mito as she plotted her revenge. Hey everyone listen up. If you play with Naruto you can't be my friend, announced Mito to all the kids. All the kids looked at each wondering if they should listen but ending up doing exactly that. They thought that if they had to be either Naruto or Mito as a friend, it would be Mito because their parents said she was really important to the village. So of course almost everyone just went with it. I can't believe she just said that. Look at that everyone is going along with it except Shikamaru and Choji. Thought a shock Naruto. So for the rest of the day every time Naruto tried to play with someone he was kicked out. I can't believe she would do this thought Naruto as he went inside and locked himself in his room telling his parents he was sick. Flashback no jutsu release. Why wouldn't he having friends? I mean he is the son of the fourth Hukage. Thought a now very intrigued Kashina. So she decided to ask. Why don't you have any friends? Once again looking at Mito as she was now paying attention to the conversation, realizing that she may in fact get in huge trouble if Naruto told her the truth. Naruto of course being the kid he was said, I don't know, I guess they just don't like me too much. Lead Naruto, it's not like I don't have friends it's just none my age. Shisui, Kakashi, and Itachi are my friends. Seeing that Kashino wasn't satisfied with the answer decided to run for it. Well I'm gonna go by mom see you later said Naruto as he sprinted off. Bito just sighed in relief and left thinking, I can't believe that Naruto didn't rat me out. Ugh why do I feel so guilty now? Clutching her heart, why didn't you just rat me out Naruto? Of course this didn't go unnoticed by Kashina. What's going on here? What do you have to do with it Mito? Well I'll figure this out later, thought Kashina as she went on her way to finish up her chores for the birthday party later today with Minato. Well that's the last of it, 
signed Minato as he finished up his paperwork. Suddenly his family picture of him and his family caught his eye. Then he formed a smile thinking how long it has been. I can't believe that my kids are already turning 9. Looking at Mito in the picture. Mito has surely grown in her training the past year. I truly believe that you are the one that death spoke of. She definitely had inherited his looks. The blonde hair and bright blue eyes. Yet, she is just like Kashina Brash, dense, kind, loyal, and the temper suddenly Minato formed a shirt drop thinking about his daughter's aggressive temper. Then he looked at his son. If his red hair didn't make him stand out enough, his bright blue sea eyes with the hair definitely did. Ironically he was the one with the three whiskers on each cheek. He kind of had a mixed personality of him and Kashina. He was smart and collective like him kind and loyal like his mom. He was worried from the reaction he received this knew that Naruto saw through his white lie. That isn't what had gotten Minato so worried. It was the fact that he didn't do anything about. Just simply let it go like it was nothing. Naruto why do I feel like you're starting to push away from us? Is it cause I didn't personally look after your training? Pondered Minato. No it can't be that I heard he was very happy with Shisui as a sensei. No. It's cause I haven't been a great father towards him. Minato stood up from his desk and moved toward his window. As he looked out he saw his whole village busy at work. From civilians working to get jobs done to some ninjas enjoying a good walk. Yes Naruto I'm gonna start spending more time with you. Starting by including you in training with your sister thought Minato believing he would bring his son back a bit more. I just hope you won't get too mad about tonight. With Naruto walking down the village. I can't believe they just forgot about me thought Naruto as he he slowly walked down the street toward the Uchiha compound. How could they forgot that it was my birthday too? Do they not love me? This question was slowly eating away at Naruto. For a minute he wanted to say no. Of course not. It was just simply this one time. I bet it won't happen again. We just to see how tonight goes. If they get me a good thought out gift, then that will prove it. Thought Naruto as he passed a couple more shops. As he turned the corner he arrived at the Uchiha front gates with the two guards. Hey I came to see Shisui exclaimed Naruto. We know brat you come here every day, replied one of the guards. Hey I'm not a brat. Even if you do know, I still have to check in Databeo, replied an annoyed Naruto. Whatever brat, snickered the other guard hoping to get a rise out of Naruto. Naruto replies, why you son of, better not finish that unless you wanna run 100 laps around Kaneya. Brat says Shisui as he walks up to the front gate. Sensei, I'm not a brat databeo replies Naruto. I know Naruto just playing with you. Right guys both guards nodded their heads and laughed seeing how tormented the kid was. Come on let's go to my house I got something for ya, says Shisui. Alright sensei let's go, responds Naruto knowing he would receive a gift. Naruto and Shisui made their way towards to Shisui's apartment in the Uchiha compound. Greeted by a few people on the they finally arrived Shisui opened the door and let Naruto in. Wait here Naruto I'll be right back said Shisui as he walks to his bedroom. Returning back, here you go Naruto this my present to you announced Shisui. Though before you open it I have to tell you something so listen up. Yes sir, replied the excited Naruto. Shisui begins talking, Naruto this is my present to you. What you're about to open is something something that cost me lots of money. So take good care of it. Okay, seeing Naruto understood he continued. The reason I'm giving you this is because I'm proud I made you my student. Even though you haven't done anything in the ninja world. You have proven to me that you are worthy of being a ninja. You have the traits of becoming a great ninja, and I am sure you will be too. Though now I will no longer be able to train you as often as I did because I have decided to join ANBU. That doesn't mean I won't train you, it just won't be as daily as it is now. Seeing Naruto's sad face as Shisui decides to wrap up things. Naruto you will now be joining the academy. Even though you may know most of what is expected there I want you to stay all three years before you protest. Yes I know that you may have a chance to graduate a year early, but stay it will do good to stay with people your age. Don't wanna turn out like Itachi huh? Not allowing Naruto to say anything like Itachi is the best though. Don't worry though after you graduate my ANBU time will be done, and I'll get a chance to train you again. Now open your gift, replied Shisui. Naruto could just simply nod. He couldn't believe that he would no longer get to train with his best friend as much anymore. He opened the gift he received to find a beautiful orange handle sword still in its sheath. He looked closer at the handle to see that there was an Uzumaki swirl on one side and a Kanaha leaf on the other. When he took it out of the sheath it had a beautiful black blade with an orange line cutting through it. Thanks Shisui don't you worry, 
When I come out of the academy I will definitely look forward from learning from you again as well I will make this sword the most famous sword in the world exclaimed a now excited Naruto. We'll see about that brat. You better run along and get ready for tonight. I heard your parents were throwing a big yeah and keep working on the wind chakra exercises noted Shisui. Alright thanks for everything sensei answers Naruto as he runs up to him and gives him a big hug right before he leaves. Party time. The backyard was filled with a bunch of children. There was lots of music and games though there was one kid who stuck out and that was Naruto he was simply just sitting on the side with Shikamaru and Choji so Shika Choji you ready to join the academy next week or what asked Naruto what a drag I really don't want to go but it's better than being stuck with mom replied the lazy Nara well I'm very excited Naruto I really want to become a strong ninja exclaimed Choji as he ate away at his chips. Suddenly Kakashi popped out of nowhere. Yo! Kakashi said coolly. Kakashi what's up? Did you come to the birthday party? Answered Naruto. Sorry Naruto I have a mission and came over to give you the said Kakashi as he handed Naruto a wrapped gift. Give me. Give me. Remarked Naruto as he ripped open the present to find a mask and an orange book. What? Why did you give me this book you pervert? He turns around to see Kakashi had already left. He looked at the book and the mask. It wouldn't hurt to read it would it? Now nah, let's just see what's it about. Completely forgetting about Shikamaru and Choji he opened the book and began to read it. Blushing just after reading one random page. Now I know why Kakashi wears the mask he thought Naruto as he looked at the mask. Suddenly Kashina had called in all the kids to eat cake and open presents. Of course Naruto and Mito got to sit at the front of the table while the rest of the parents and kids sat in front of them. After everyone devoured the delicious cake presents were handed out. Bito and Naruto mostly received clothes and money from most of the civilian families. From the clan families they received some ninja tools. Kashina had decided to start to teach both Naruto and Mito about sealing so gave them a book over it too. Tsunade had decided to give both Naruto and Mito a book about medical ninja. Makoto Uchiha decided to give Mito and Uchiha a shirt. Much to Sasuke's annoyance, while Itachi handed Naruto a wind scroll he had collected on one of his Kaimanato's gift. Alright everyone listen up. Today I have decided to give both Mito and Naruto special gifts. As well make a big announcement. Announced Minato to the crowd as he whips out a summoning scroll which he gives to both Mito and Naruto. I would like to give you guys the summoning scroll to the Toad contract. Naruto quickly runs up and starts writing his name in the scroll. I knew it. My parents would never forget about me. Ha the shows they love me too as well toads beat crows ha take the chisui so dad what are the hand signs for the summoning jutsu exclaimed naruto hoping to show off in front of the crowd you see naruto i won't teach how to summon quite yet maybe after the academy i'm just giving you the summoning scroll for now replied minato ughhhh mo naruto really wanting to know how to summon all right now for my second announcement exclaimed Minato. This suddenly got everyone's attention, wondering what the second announcement could be about. Many of you know the Namakaze is actually a cousin clan to the Uchiha. Minato looked down seeing some of the Uchiha smirking, knowing well that the Yellow Flash was actually a cousin of the Uchiha. Well today I have decided to announce Mito as the official heir of the clan. Many looked at him with shock, not because of the announcement, but because in reality the heir of the clan was always the oldest in this family it was Naruto Namakaze. Kashina looked shocked, not believing Minato would actually do something like this without her approval. Mito didn't know what to think. Everyone else was a bit taken back, but many of the clan heads understood. If the eldest didn't show promise then the next kid would take over. Thought that really wasn't the case here. Naruto was even more shocked not believing his own birthright was stolen from him. Of course Naruto wasn't gonna let this slide. What do you mean Mito is the heiress? Fired Naruto. That's my birthright. Not hers. Naruto calm as just she shows lots of promise as a ninja. Exclaimed Minato. Didn't think he would get this mad. I mean he has always been so quiet and calm about things. And I don't. Ask Shisui. He says I show lots of promise too. Yelled Naruto. I'm not saying you don't show promise it's just. Minato couldn't finish as Naruto ran out crying covering his eyes. I can't believe he did that. And this pain in my eyes. Minato I don't believe that was wise of you. I mean I understand you wanted to give Mito the title but shouldn't you have told Naruto beforehand? suggested Shikaku Nara as well isn't a bit early to be naming heirs many of the people in the crowd started agreeing with Shikaku and why didn't you tell me beforehand asked a now irritated Kashina well you see I wanted it to be a 
Surprise, stuttered Minato. I jumped the gun didn't I? Of course you did. I can't believe you did that to your own son. Oh great fourth. Jumped in Tsunade very angry at what she just saw. Well, maybe I should go talk to him? Asked Minato starting to feel the guilt. I didn't mean to hurt Naruto's feelings. I just wanted to motivate Mito more by naming her clan. I shouldn't have done this. Don't let him cool off. Shusumi already went after him stated Itachi as he walked away feeling a bit irritated with the huckage. Naruto and Shusui. I can't believe they did that to me. And in front of everyone. Thought Naruto as he ran to the lake in the park. I thought they loved me. As Naruto stood there weeping he couldn't shrug off the pain in his eyes. And this pain. My eyes they feel like they are on fire. Suddenly Shisui appeared in his signature body flicker technique. Hey Naruto are you alright? As Shisui looked at Naruto's eyes he was beyond shocked. Th. The Sharon. Sharingan. As he stared into his eyes now bloodshot red with one tamo in the left eye and two Tamo in the right. Naruto stopped weeping seeing that Shisui was obviously in shock. What's wrong Shisui? Naruto look into the reflection of the lake. Commanded Shisui. Naruto doing just that, took the same face that Shisui had just moments ago. Well, this just got very interesting. Thought Shisui. Suddenly Shisui appeared in a signature body flicker technique. Hey Naruto are you alright? Right? As Shisui looked at Naruto's eyes he was beyond shocked. Th he Sharon Sharingan as he stared into his eyes now bloodshot red with one Tamo in the left eye and two Tamo in the right. Naruto stopped weeping seeing that Shisui was obviously in shock. What's wrong Shisui? Naruto look into the reflection of the lake. Commanded Shisui. Naruto doing just that took the same face that Shisui had just moments ago. Well. This just got very interesting, thought Shisui. One year and six months later, two figures were racing in the tree lines just outside of Kaneya. Both of them had spiky hair, yet the taller ones was black as night, while the younger one was red as blood. The taller one was wearing a traditional Anbu outfit with an Uchiha symbol on the back. The short one was wearing a black and orange Uzumaki outfit Shippuden outfit. Yet what made them pop out the most was those red eyes of theirs. Yes these two were no other than Naruto and Shisui. It had been a year and six months since Naruto's ninth birthday. Many things had happened that day. Whether it was for the good or bad only time will tell. Though what thing it did was activate Naruto's Sharingan. Now he had been able to activate the second Tamo in his left eye. Shisui had thought best to keep this a secret from everyone else since he knew of people who were after the power of the Sharingan and would do anything to get it cough. Danzo cough. He decided to continue to train Naruto just like he had been doing except now he could teach him the Sharingan tricks. As well he told Naruto that if he ever wanted he could tell his parents though Naruto decided to keep it to himself. So now we are here with Naruto and Shisui racing through the treetops. Suddenly Shisui pulls out several kanai and throws them at Naruto. Naruto quickly dodged or blocked those thrown at him. Not allowing him time to think, Shisui engages him in Taijutsu. Shisui easily forces Naruto into defense. Crap, I could beat Shisui in Taijutsu. I need to get some distance. Thought Naruto as he tried to get as much distance as possible. Though Shisui won't let him have it knowing exactly what he was trying to do. Though Naruto had tricks up his own sleeve. Pulling out a smoke bomb he exploded it blinding him both and Shisui. Shisui believing Naruto would try to get some distance this way, jumped out of the smoke. Though that's exactly what Naruto was hoping, he didn't jump out of the where Shisui jumped he used a widespread jutsu to force him right where he wanted him. Covered by the smoke he started to wield some hand signs. Wind release. Vacuum sphere. As Shisui jumped out of the smoke he looked around for Naruto. Where? He go? Though at the corner of his eye he was able to catch the small blasts of wind chakra shot at him. Not bad Naruto. Use the smoke screen to force me out. While you stay in and indeed. Though not clever enough. Thought Shisui as he easily dodged the attack. And landed on a branch. Though as soon as he landed a wire was set off. The trap tied Shisui to the tree. Naruto seeing his plan had worked he jumped out of the smoke and near the tree where Shisui was. I win sensei, exclaimed Naruto finally able to trap Shisui. So, you made this trap while we were engaged in Taijutsu, correct? Seeing Naruto nod he continued. As well the smoke was to force me out into the using wide range attack to force right onto this branch. Naruto just grinned, though suddenly so did Shisui. Too bad I saw right through it. Then suddenly Naruto suddenly saw black and what looked like two pairs of Sharingan eyes. As soon as it disappeared he realized he was the one tied to the tree. What? But how? Genjutsu. 
This genjutsu allows you to manipulate the enemy into doing what they want to do to you. As well you can turn someone else's genjutsu against them. Though usually it takes some hand signs and the opponent to look into the user's Sharingan. Though I've mastered it to the point where I don't need hand signs. It's called the Sharingan Mirage Genjutsu. Grinsha Sui. The moment before you set the smoke, I caught you under it. Making you jump out of the smoke. Then I simply threw some shuriken and made you dodge to the plan would have worked if it was anyone else. Naruto just stared at awe. He couldn't believe how powerful that genjutsu enough that his Sharingan didn't detect he only had two Tamo. Will I be learning that? Asked Naruto. Yeah, of course the reason I showed you it was because I would be teaching it to you tomorrow. Exclaimed Shisui as he untied Naruto. Dang it sensei. I thought I had you this time Dadabeo. Cried out Naruto. Naruto take it easy I'm in Anbu. It take years before you catch up, responded Shisui, though seeing he wasn't completely satisfied. As well that was some high genin level strategy right there. I mean I don't think even some chunin could think that off, praised Shisui. Naruto just looked up and smiled. You're right Shisui. How about some ramen? I'm sorry I can't. Naruto got to get back to some here is some money. Go get yourself some. See ya tomorrow. Though come early since you're gonna learn that yeah and stop skipping classes. Explained Shisui as he disappeared in his usual body flicker technique. Whatever Chiriku Raymon here I come. Exclaimed Naruto as he left in his own body flicker technique. Which consisted of a swirl of leaves. A Kairiku Raymon stand. Naruto appeared right outside of the stand. Quickly going in he sat down and his usual was two people in the back. An aged man. And his young daughter no older than 15. Old man get me two bowls of Misa Raymond. Exclaimed Naruto. You got it Naruto. Aim get me two bowls for our favorite customer. Shouted out Tuki. Got it dad. Responded Aim. Suddenly two blonde haired girls walked in the stand. Naruto not even bothering to look around didn't know that it was her sister Mito. And her best friend Ino. You know Naruto. You really shouldn't be eating so much Raymond. It's quite unhealthy. Pointed out Mito. While Ino says. Yeah, should be more like Sasuke, I'm sure he doesn't eat so much ramen. Naruto just sighed and had been trying to be nicer to his sister, since Shisui had asked him to. Flashback no jutsu, it had been a few days after his birthday. Just two days ago Shisui had picked up his training after the academy at full speed. After the academy Naruto would come here for two hours. First hour would be spent on perfecting the basics, such as chakra control, elemental control and wielding his weapons, such as the blade he hadn't been able to name. Then the next hour they would work on Teijutsu, Ninjutsu, Genjutsu, and the Sharingan. Though it was more with the Sharingan than anything else. Though today was the day Shisui decided to give Naruto a talk. He's been getting a lot colder, since what happened at his birthday. I need to snap him out of it, before he does something stupid, thought Shisui. Hey Naruto we need to talk, stated Shisui. What is it sensei? Asked Naruto. Cut it out. Or I'll stop teaching you. This isn't the student I wanted to teach a few weeks ago. Said Shisui crossing his arms. Cut out what? Asked again Naruto. Now a bit more concerned. Stop being such a brooder. Drop it Naruto. Forget what happened. If you continue the way you are. You're just gonna regret everything you and forget. Said Shisui. But Shisui you just don't understand. You have no idea how it feel like to always be overlooked. Simply ignored for your sister. Even though you try so hard to get their attention, you have no idea. I mean I don't care about being the heir it's just because they ignored me again. Yelled back Naruto. Shisui just pinched his nose. Yes Naruto in fact I do. Naruto just stared at him confusedly. What do you mean? You know Itachi right? Well, Itachi has always been considered a genius like no other. Even in the Uchiha clan. Well, as young children my parents had always asked why I couldn't be more like him. It infuriated me to no end. Exclaimed Shisui as he shut his eyes. Then opening them. So, that day instead of resenting my parents and Inuchi, I set a goal to be better than him. To show everyone I was Shisui Uchiha, not the cousin of Inuchi. To this day I have worked my butt, and I have even surpassed him. With that Shisui closed his eyes and reopened them to show Naruto what looked like a four-pointed shuriken. What is that Shisui? Asked Naruto. He had never seen this from a sensei before. This Naruto is the highest level of the Sharingan, the Mangikyo Sharingan. With this eyes I can achieve visual prowess behind the normal Sharingan. Though I won't show you because it's kind of a double-edged sword. I have Genjutsu special to only these types of eyes. A Genjutsu known as Kodo Matsukami. With this Genjutsu I can implant false memories into one's brain 
and manipulate them however I want. Another one would be Tsukuyomi, the most powerful genjutsu known to man. With this I can trap one into an unbreakable genjutsu in which I control everything for 48 hours, when in reality it would only be 3 second. This something not achieved since Madara and Izuna Uchiha, though there is more than just genjutsu. Explained Jisui. Naruto just stood in awe. A genjutsu that controls another person, space and time itself, still has more abilities. But how do you achieve these abilities? Asked Naruto. Shisui just sighed. There is two way and one may unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan. The first and most common way would be to kill the closest person to you. The wind blowed loud, as an eerie silence took over both of them. Of course there is a second way. The way I took, that is to train your to the point where it naturally evolves to the Mangekyo Sharingan. Though as I mentioned it is a double-edged sword. The more I use it the closer I come to losing my sight. Until I'm completely become blind. Wow Shisui I'm sorry I didn't know. As well how come I've never heard of the Mangekyo Sharingan if it's so powerful? Asked Naruto. Well you see Naruto there's reason it isn't known. The reason is because the Mangekyo Sharingan is very difficult to achieve. Only maybe 5 people before me have actually activated it. As well I'm probably the only one who has achieved it through hard work alone. Everyone else has activated it by killing the closest person they have replied. Shisui that's why it's a clan secret. If everyone knew there would be clansmen killing left and right. I see but why are you telling me this? Asked Naruto. It's because I want you to completely forgive your parents. I understand how it feels to be overlooked. Though don't allow to turn into a shallow person. You still have Tsunade, Kakashi, Itachi, me, and many other people. Right? You should even include your parents because one day you will show them who Naruto is. In fact once you graduate you really don't have to be a Namakaze. You can change your surname to Uzumaki. A clan of friendship. That's why I put a symbol on your sword. Said Shisu pointing to his orange handled sword. Naruto's eyes just widen. You're right Shisui. I'm not just the Hakage's son. Or Mito's brother. I'm the Naruto Nano Uzumaki. And I'll be the second person ever to unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan with sheer effort alone. Then I'll show every dad Bayo. Good. Then stop being so cold to your family. I don't expect you to be friends with your parents. But actually respond to them icily. As for your sister try to be friends with her. I mean it really isn't her fault. She probably didn't even know about the whole Eras thing. Finish Shisui. Yes sir. Said Naruto. Shisui's right. I should at least show some manners. As well I guess he has point about Mito. Shisui just gave Naruto a smile. Naruto. I believe that you can achieve greatness beyond those of Madara. Yet instead be more like Hiroshima. The reason is because if my research is correct. Once you unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan you won't suffer the curse. You won't need a transplant to achieve eternal light because Naruto you hold both Senju and Uchiha blood. It will be need for the times ahead. Suddenly Shisui's smile faded. He watched a Naruto begun his warm ups. Especially if the clan goes ahead with the coup d'etat. As well that orange mask guy Itachi encountered lurking around. He seems a man that will become very dangerous. I just hope you're strong enough to endure it if I'm not around. Sadly thought Shisui. Flashback no jutsu release. Even though he has had some success with his sister, he really didn't like some of her friends. Especially Ino. Even though she has shown some traits he likes like loyalty to a friend. She was so bossy and obsessed with Sasuk. He thought Sasuk was okay. Just not a god. Whatever. I can still beat him in a spar, said Naruto hoping to get a rise out of Ino. Mito just sighed even though she was grateful Naruto was talking to her more. She still couldn't stand his prankster ways. Whatever Naruto you're such a loser, screamed Ino. Did you say something Ino? Coolly replied Naruto. Kakashi would be proud. Ino just fell on her face, and Mito just shook dropped. So, Mito wants some Raymond. Shisui gave me some extra money today. Asked Naruto. No. I just passed by to tell you not to eat so much. Let's go Ino. We should meet up with Hinata. Answered quickly recovered and gave Naruto a glare. With that the two blonde haired friends left. Naruto just sighed even though he really hated Ino. He wished he had a friend like that. Friends that were always by your side. Even though Shisui was his best friend. He was always on missions. As well he was like 5 years older. Naruto just finished his food and went home. He really felt lonely. Next day, Naruto was walking home. He had just finished the academy for the day. Even though Shisui told him to be there early, he was in no rush to get home. Today he decided to pull a prank on his his unfavorite teacher Mizuki. Naruto didn't know why he just didn't get good vibes from him. He was always staring at his sister, like she was a prize. Even though he didn't entirely love Mito, 
that doesn't mean he was gonna let some guy stare at her. Yes, he had sent him packing to hospital. His prank had consisted of paint balloons, and Ninja had tripped him up and sent him head first into the wall. Knocked out conscious the class was dismissed early except for Naruto who had been punished by scrubbing off the paint in the room. If his mom found out he was so getting yelled at gain, he continued to walk. He was on the edge of a there was a trail right through the middle of the small area of trees. As he walked his way through, he heard some commotion. Deciding to check things out he headed to see what it was. As he checked it out he noticed it was three bullies surrounding a kneeling girl with lavender hair. As he took a closer look he noticed it was one of Mito's friends Ida. Tinta Hinata. That's it. Having had enough of this, he decided to intervene. As soon as the bullies tried to throw a punch he quickly got in front of it and caught it. Don't you think it's a little rude to pick on a lady? Asked Naruto. What's it to you? Asked one of the bullies. Who are you anyways? Hey guys it's Mito's brother. My mother said he was the loser son of the Huckage. Stated one. What you gonna do tell your dad? The Huckage taunted one of the bullies. A tick mark appeared on his forehead. He couldn't believe people were saying he was loser. I beat you all to the ground dad bayo. I'll show you the only losers here are you cowards. Whatever. Just don't go tell your daddy. Taunted one. Yeah. Brat it's three on one anyways added the other one. Whatever. Fine by me. By the way the name's not Brat or Hakage's son it's Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki Dadabeo. Declared Naruto. With that Naruto engaged the bullies. It was totally one sided as Naruto was able to knock them out. And tie them to some tree. As he finished that up he walked up to the girl. So. Your name's Hinata, right? Asked Naruto. Um, yes, you're Naruto, right? But I thought your last name was Namakaze? Asked Hinata. Well, yeah, but once I graduate, I'm gonna change it to Uzumaki. Cause the Uzumaki clan was known for its friendship with the Leaf. Claimed Naruto. Why wouldn't you want to be Namakaze? Asked Hinata, clearly confused. Well, you see, Hinata, I just hate being known as the Hukage's kid or just Mito's. I'm going to make a name for myself. I'm gonna show everyone that I'm the Naruto Uzumaki. As well I really just don't want the last name gave away my spot as heir cause I wasn't worthy enough to be it. So I'm gonna show everyone that I won't let that stop me from being the best dad bayo. Replied Naruto. Well, take care Hinata. See ya tomorrow at the academy. With that Naruto just jumped to the trees. And body flickered home. Hinata just stood there still a bit shocked. He just like me. A person believed to be unfit to be a heir. Yet he is still strong. Willing to go against the tides. Naruto you're nothing like your sister describes you. Standing up Hinata made her way home. Naruto. You've inspired me to do my best too. Naruto Uzumaki that has a nice tone to it. Hinata Uzumaki with that final though she gave a really big blush. Though she quickly dismissed it because she didn't want to be an obsessed fangirl. No. She wanted to prove her worth just like Naruto. Namake's household Kashina and Mito stood in the kitchen. Mito was sitting at the kitchen table while her mother was cooking some lunch. That's when Naruto appeared in a whirl of leaves. Naruto, you're home. I wish could really stop using that leaf shunshin. Sweetly smiled Kashina. For anyone that knew Kashina that wasn't the smile you wanted to receive. Um yes mother, replied Naruto. Why do I have the scariest mom? Red death. More like the death god itself. Hello Naruto, said Mito. She was just sitting there reading some book. Hello Mito, replied Naruto. With that Naruto went toward his room, and picking up his gear, he walked back to kitchen as he was about to reach the door. Um Naruto, aren't you gonna eat with us? Asked Kashina. He's still a little cold towards us. In fact he hardly ever eats with us. At least he gets along with Mito. No I'm not going to eat. I'm heading to train with Shisui. He said he was gonna teach me something new. And I should get there early, responded Naruto. Naruto you don't always have to be training. You should sit down and eat with us. I know Shisui can only train you certain hours, but your father and I could train you when he isn't around, said Kashina. Please come around Naruto. You have no idea how much this is hurting me. No, there is things only Shisui can teach me, which you can't. As well I really wouldn't want any training from dad. Maybe you but not dad, replied Naruto. Kashina felt a bit relieved but irritated at the same time. At least he has opened up to me a bit. Though I really wish he could forgive his dose he mean only Shisui can teach him. I was Jin for a long time. That brat just started Anbu. What's so special about Shisui? I understand he's talented. But what is it that only he can only teach you? I mean both your father and I are much more experienced than could he possibly teach you that we couldn't. Question Kashina. Naruto just sighed. If I continue this talk, I'm gonna end up having to train with as well get her off my back. He walked towards the door, 
and opened it. Though before he stepped through he replied, Shisui is my friend. That's what makes the training worth it. Training with my best friend as well for the reason he can teach me and you can't. Naruto turned around with his eyes wide open, revealing his Sharingan. Two Tamo in each eye. With that done Naruto walked out the house. Kashina just stood there in shock. Trying to process everything that just happened. Shar Sharingan. How? When? Why didn't he tell us? I didn't think a Namakaze could actually awaken it. Beto, honey I'll be right back I'm going to go talk with your father shouted Kashina. Beto hadn't been paying attention to what occurred. But if she had she probably wouldn't have been able to reply. Okay mom. Many hours later in Hukage's office. Minato just sat in his office. Finally catching up on today's tensions got high. So did this pile of paperwork. He was really sick of it. He couldn't imagine how the third could have done it for so long. What made it so much worse was the fact that his wife came storming in demanding to talk with him. At first she accused him of not telling her about his son unlocking the Sharingan. At first he thought she was just joking because no one had been able to unlock it in the Namakaze clan since the beginning of Kaneya. After a bit talking and calming her down, they both realized that they both were never aware of how or when he unlocked it. So Minato just sent her home, and told her he would find out. He of course knew only one person who could answer all his questions. She's so Uchiha. He would have to know. That's what Naruto had told. Now he sat and waited. He wanted to call him immediately, but he didn't want to make things worse with his son. Now that we're talking about his son, things between Naruto and Minato weren't the best. The week following his birthday he had completely stopped talking to Minato. Though after the week he started to open up. But only when he was called upon. As well he had completely denied all attempts of training with Minato. It really saddened Minato. He knew he deserved what he was getting, yet he just wanted his son to forgive him. He wondered if this is how the third felt with his son Asuma years ago. Suddenly an Anbu with a crow mask appeared. Huckage, you called me? Yes. Crow though I need you to take off your mask. Asked Minato. As Crow took off his mask it was revealed to be Shisui. Huckage. Have you called me here because of the coup d'etat? I think it would be wise to get Itachi here too. He probably has more intel. Yes, Itachi will be coming. Though I called you sooner because I need to talk about Naruto. Replied the fourth. Shisui just looked at him curiously. What about him do you want to talk about? Why wasn't I aware that he had unlocked the Sharingan? Demanded Minato. Shisui just looked at him and took a long sigh. So Naruto finally told him. Well, I told Naruto to keep it a secret since he didn't have the protection of the clan. Not having the protection would tempt others to possibly steal it. Replied Shisui. Why keep it a secret from us too? I mean we're his parents. Shouted Minato. Shisui just waited for him to calm down and responded. I told him he could tell only his parents if he wished to. He decided not to. Why he didn't tell you? I don't know. You just have to ask him. Minato just sat back down. Sorry Shisui, I just let my emotions get the best of how tense things have been lately. It's alright sir replied Shisui. So now if I can ask a face suddenly Minato was cut off by his secretary who walked in the room. Sir the elders, and the Anbu member you requested are waiting in the meeting room. Minato just nodded. I guess we have to finish this some other s go the current situation is much more important than this at the moment. Though I expect you to answer my questions afterwards. Alright let's go. Said Shisui. With that Shisui and the four Thukage made their way to the meeting room. Meeting room. The four elders. Hiruzen. Danzo. Homura. Kohara. The four Thukage sat at a desk. In front of them stood two kneeling Anbu. Shisui and Itachi. Itachi and Shisui had just finished giving them the whole scoop of the coup d'etat. So. That's the last of it. They plan to commence the attack tomorrow? Asked. Former Hukage just pinched his nose. If the Uchiha are planning this coup d'etat, I believe the only way to resolve this is to label them as traitors. Offered Homura. Yes it's too late not to judge them. We must act now before it's too late. Pitched in Kohara. If we join up with ANBU Black Ops, it shouldn't be too hard. Though we would also have to take out all the children. Concluded Danzo. Though he really wanted to get rid of the Uchiha for his own reasons. Enough. We shouldn't be talking about the Uchiha like this in front of Shisui and Itachi demanded the third. Shisui and Itachi just kneeled there showing no emotion. Though the both had a billion thoughts going through their heads. Suddenly the talking ceased, and the elders just looked at Minato, looking for an answer. So what will it be Minato? Asked Danzo. Minato just sighed. He couldn't believe that his cousin clan was thinking about revolting. If I don't take care of this problem, it could very well start the fourth great ninja war. Shisui. You said you had a genjutsu that could temporarily control one right? 
asked Minato. Shisui just nodded his head. All right, I want you to use this genjutsu to buy me some time. Just one day would be enough. I'm gonna try to reach a compromise with Ayuchiha first. Start your mission dismissed both of well with this meeting. Finished Minato as he got up and walked out. As well both Shisui and Itachi left. Meanwhile Danzo had secretly signaled his route to commence their own operations. Then made his way to go find Itachi. As he left the room a little smirk left his face. If everything goes right, I won't just have a Mangikyo Sharingan, but also all the Sharingan left in the wreckage. Many hours later, Naruto was peacefully sleeping in his room, when suddenly the peace of the night was disturbed by the pecking of a window. As Naruto slowly woke up, what could be making this noise? Though looking up to his window, he noticed a black crow with a scroll in its beak. Shisui Sensei's summoning crow? What's it doing here? Opening the window he allowed the crow to fly into his room. The crow took a lap around his room and landed onto his shoulder. Naruto reached for the scroll, and opening it up. Dear Naruto, meet me at the cliff right outside training ground 31. Come alone with your ninja gear, and make sure you're not followed. As well bring the crow with you. You'll need it. Shisui, wonder what's this for? Naruto pondered for an answer, and couldn't come up with anything. Putting on his gear, he grabbed a pillow and placed a transformation on it. Quickly jumping out the window at the cliff. Naruto quietly arrived at the cliff. It had taken him a while, since he had run into an ANB a while of running around, he had finally gotten around. As he arrived to the scene he saw there was no one here. Looking around he noticed that he actually was alone. Closing his eyes he allowed his thoughts to take over. Wonder what's up with Shisui. He was a bit jittery today. As well he is never late. Suddenly he heard a branch twitch. Quickly opening his eyes and activating his Sharingan he turned around to see a barrage of Kanai. Quickly using his eyes to his advantage he grabbed the lead Kanai and proceeded to dodge, and block the rest. Suddenly the man attacking him appeared, and tried to go for a killing blow. Naruto quickly dodged, and knocked him backwards. Now that Naruto had a better look, the man was bloody and had a plain ANBU mask on. Quickly deciding to end this Naruto reached for his own kanai, and chucked it at him. Unsheathing his sword, he was able to add wind and engaged him in Kenjutsu. After a while of fighting Naruto cast Genjutsu on his sword. He made the sword look faster than it actually was. Naruto quickly got the advantage, then stabbing him through a vital spot in the stomach. As he looked into the eyes of the mask, he noted one of his eyes were missing. As well the single black eye looked quite familiar. Pulling out the sword the person coughed and stumbled back into a tree. He was just sitting at the tree as blood poured out of his didn't think it was possible. But he looked worse than feeling a bit sick. He still proceeded to question the man. Who are you? Why did you attack me? How did you know I would be here? Asked Naruto. I hope Shisui wasn't taken down by him. By the looks of it, this man looks like he has already been through one battle. The man just continued to cough and sat there. Naruto having enough he reached for his mask. If you won't talk I'll just unmask you here and now. As Naruto took off his mask. It revealed to be a man missing his left eye. As Naruto took a closer look he stumbled back eyes filled with shock. His hand shaking. Th ears. And oh way. Shisui. Be at why? Shisui just looked at Naruto impassively. I had to cough test you to make sure you could go through with killing. I probably won't be around. As you can see my left eye is gone. Naruto just stood there in shock. I'm sorry I did didn't know it was you. Shisui we can get you to Tsunade to Savi you. She can save you. She's the best. Don't worry just rest. No it's too late you need to know the truth. Wheezed Shisui. Naruto began to let tears fall out. He couldn't believe he had just stabbed his best friend. You need to know what happened to me. Naruto just stood their face completely in shock. And tears pouring he still managed to nod. Shisui seeing this started his story. Naruto you have to know that the Kof Uchiha clan was planning a coup d'etat. But why? The Uchiha clan had always been respected in the village. Asked Naruto. Things aren't always as they seem. They weren't liking the way they were being many blamed them for the attack on the Nine Tails ten and a half years ago. They were blamed since an orange masked Uchiha claiming to be Madara was behind it replied Shisui. What but father said it was a natural disaster. That childbirth had weakened Mother Seal and had allowed half of the Nine Tails' power to escape, stated Naruto. That wasn't the cough truth. That what was told to the civilians, to the ninja. Everyone was told that an orange mask Uchiha claiming to be Madara was behind it, replied Shisui. Now, stop asking questions, and allow me to finish I don't have much time. Naruto just nodded and let him continue. 
So anyways me and Itachi acted as double agents for the Leaf. We were ordered by the Uchiha clan to join Anbu and spy for them. Though in reality we were spying for the Leaf cough. Anyways the coup d'etat was planned to go tomorrow. So the fourth asked me to use the Mangekyo to buy him more time to come with the compromise. Naruto's eyes widen at the mention of his father. Did father do this? Shisui seeing his reaction. No Naruto it wasn't your father who did this to me. It was a man known as Danzo Shimura. I was ordered to use Kodoma. Matsukami to buy more time for the fourth. On my way to Uchiha clan, Danza one of the elders attacked me. He believed that I couldn't be trusted, and tried to steal my eyes. As you see he stole my left eye, though I got away in time. After I was able to get away and meet up with Itachi. Since I couldn't choose the Genjutsu anymore without raising suspicion, I found out Itachi was ordered to massacre the clan by he allowed the children below the age of 11 to live. Since they weren't officially part of the clan, they still were ninjas. Still the number is no more than 20 of the 120. Cough this was only guaranteed if Itachi took complete blame and left to become a rogue ninja. Then he would join any mercenary groups that may pose a threat. Naruto's eyes widen in shock. Massacre the Uchiha clan. Father would never allow it. Even if he is ignorant, he would never kill his own blood. What? Father would never allow this. Naruto you don't understand. If the coup d'etat would have happened, then it would have started a civil war. If a civil war occurred many nations would try to invade Kaneha, thus starting the fourth great ninja causing meaningless death once again. Thankfully Itachi was allowed to let all the children under the age of 11 live. Finish Shisui as his right eye slowly closed more. What about you? I mean you helped the leaf. Screamed Naruto. Naruto the moment Danzo stole my eye I was as good as dead. If I return he would kill me to hide the truth. As well I have no proof it was my word against his. He is the man I warned you about the man that would try to steal your eyes because you weren't part of the clan explained Shisui. Naruto's breathing got heavier and heavier. He just couldn't handle all this information at once. B A W H Y D D D you have me stab you. Why? asked Naruto clutching his eyes. It was cough I would rather die at your hands than my own. Shisui cough proceeding to move his hand towards his right eye. He yanked out his last eye then grabbing the bird. He began to transplant his last eye into the bird. As well I only trust you with my last eye. With that Shisui formed a hand sign and pressed it on Naruto's left arm. This is a summoning you have to do is swipe some blood on it, and use the summoning technique with your left hand. Since you already have one with your right, the crows have agreed to this. So don't worry. This is where I'll place the crow with my right eye. I guess this is it Naruto. Slowly, standing up Shisui proceeded to get to his to the hole in his stomach. Take care of the next generation of the Uchiha. Naruto, as well you can never let anyone know the truth. Do it for the village's sake, and the name of the Uchiha. The reason me and Itachi did this is so the Uchiha clan name wouldn't be tainted I. We wanted the next generation to believe that the Uchiha clan was a proud clan. Please look after them since many will be left all alone. Proceeding to walk away he stopped. You're actually fortunate that I told you the truth. I'm pretty sure Itachi lied to his brother, making him direct all his hate towards him. Cough though I believe that you're stronger than that. That's why I told you the truth. Don't hate your dad, or there was a choice that had to be made. Just don't trust Danzo. Shisui turns around. Naruto I believe that you are person that will change this world for the better. You have the blood of both the Uchiha and Senju. Cough. You are destined for greatness. If you ever unlock the Mangikyo Sharingan, head towards the Naka Shrine hidden in the Uchiha compound. Pulling out a scroll, he opened it and unsealed it showing an even bigger red back he handed it to Naruto. And here are many of my Jutsus, as well a Jutsu to open the shrine. Become strong Naruto. The future will only get worse from now on. Remember the orange masked man. He is still at large and is plotting something bad. Suddenly Shisui began to cough really hard, and blood began to drip out of his mouth. I've run out of time cough. I guess this is the end of the road for me Naruto. In all honesty Naruto you were like a little brother to me. Remember I will always love you like one too. With those final words Shisui left with his body flicker technique. Naruto stopped shaking, clutching the scroll in his hands, putting it away into his pouch. He looked at the spot Shisui was just eyes were bulging out of his sockets, little veins all heading towards the center of his eyes. Unaware to Naruto the third Tamo appeared in his eyes. Suddenly a memory appeared in the back of his brain. Flashback no jutsu. Hey, Shisui teach me a new element please. Asked Naruto. Naruto, 
you first should completely master wind before you tackle anything else. It's only natural since you're only in the academy replied Shisui. Before Naruto could retort, and no Naruto you may not graduate early. I already told you try to make more friends besides Shikamaru and Choji. It'll do you good. Naruto just pouted. You don't think I try. Everyone just cares about Mito. Some just become my friend to get to her. Shisui just sighed and had Naruto sit down with him. Let me tell you a story Naruto. Naruto just pouted more. I wanna learn a new element not hear some story. You'll like it. It's about how ninjutsu was started. Not many people know the truth about it. Replied Shisui. Naruto just looked curiously at Shisui. How ninjutsu started. Fine. You have piqued my interest stated Naruto. Shisui just smirked. Alright as you now there are nine tailed beasts in the world right? Seeing Naruto nod he continued. Well, there was once a time when all the beasts were emerged and created the ten tails. Naruto just looked at Shisui in fear. Tn tails. Wow that's impossible. Who could be strong enough to split it into nine beasts? Or did the beasts simply just not want to work together? Shisui replied. Let me continue. This beast was so powerful that it was believed that he ruled the world. Though just like every story there is hero. A man known as the Rikyudu Senin, the sage of the sixth paths, was able to stop the beast with a special dojutsu. A dojutsu only seen in this man. The most powerful dojutsu in the world. It was known as the Rinnegan. With the Rinnegan he defeated the beast and became its Jinchu Riki. Then bringing peace with the land. Naruto just stared at awe. Amazing he Rinnegan. Was it that powerful? Shisui just nodded. Yes. But this isn't the end of the story. You see this man later went on to have two sons. The older son received the spiritual energy of the sage while his younger brother received the physical strength. The older brother received a dojutsu, though it wasn't the Rinnegan. The younger brother received the strength and chakra of his father. The older one valued nothing but power, while the younger one valued peace. He believed by working together could you achieve this. Of course, when the father sensed he would die he believed that his younger son's view on the world was similar to while he was troubled with his other son's view. Therefore he named him his heir. Of course this didn't go well with the older brother. Thus creating a huge rift between the two. Thus the older brother created the Uchiha clan and the younger the Senju. This was the start of the rivalry of the Senju and Uchiha clan. Naruto just stared at him. Wow I didn't now that's how it all started. But that's not all of it is it? Shisui smiled. Sharp as always, the father before he died split the ten tails into nine beasts. He entrusted the beasts the world, though as you know it didn't end up well for the beasts, as he didn't just do that. Seeing the rift he created between his sons, he decided to stop the Rinnegan to emerge in either of them. He had used the last of his powers to only allow the Rinnegan to re-emerge in the eyes of a Senju and Uchiha child. Even though Naruto was very interested, he still c-o-u-l-d and help but ask. Why are you telling me this? Shisui replies. Well you see Naruto I'm telling you this because you can only be strong when you have the friends to back you up. That is the will of fire. The same will that the sage of the six paths believed in. That's why I don't want you to graduate early. Naruto just looked at Shisui still not convinced. I don't know. Though that isn't the only reason. As you know the child that will reawaken it in a time of great chaos. Thus he will be the one to stop all the chaos and finally bring peace to all the land. You want to know what Naruto, I believe you could possibly be this child. Naruto's eyes suddenly went wide, then suddenly he let a tear out. I don't think that will happen Shisui. I appreciate it, but that's silly not even my parents can recognize me. How can I save the world? Shisui just chuckled, that may be true Naruto, but I believe you can overcome that. I believe you can do what the eldest of the sage couldn't, that is to forgive his family. Naruto stopped the tears. Thanks Shisui I don't know what to say, though I doubt I'll awaken this Rinnegan, though I'll make sure to surpass you Dad Bayo. Shisui just looked at Naruto and smiled, you know Naruto I'm glad I made you my student, you're like the little brother I never had, flashback no jutsu release, the little brother I never had remember I will always love you like one too, this words were all that were going through his brain, clutching his eyes. They suddenly shaped into a black eight-point rounded star with a red ring in the middle creating a black circle. Then between each gap of the star's points was a tomo. Naruto had unlocked the Mangikyo Sharingan. Picture profile and aware of this new development it would be years to come before he would once again use these new eyes. Though for now Naruto just fell to his knees. Deactivating his Sharingan, he collapsed onto the floor. That's the end guys if you enjoyed then make sure to leave a comment this is Chaos Shinobi signing off.